Blessings, beloveds. I am a story is miraculi. <clears throat> and today I bring a message decoding the breath. You know, breath is something that is so taken for granted. And yet breath is the life force. Breath is the means by which we have all earned our incarnation. And so we want to deepen our relationship with breath. Breath is stillness in slow motion. When you have a deep and wonderful relationship with the breath, then you're able to engage in the stillness. The stillness of life, that place wherein we are able to begin to align with the divinity of our soul, which is our true nature. Breath is <clears throat> God hiding in plain sight inside of us. And so, beloved, what is your relationship with your breath? You know, those who are dying or have died have life blown back into their body through mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Breath is the commonality of life force that we share. The oxygen that we breathe is oxygen that is shared by all of those who are in proximity with us. We share the same breath of life. When we are in a mode of negative thinking, we're breathing life into that which is counterproductive to the true essence of our nature. When we think negative thoughts, we're breathing life into negativity and thus we are projecting that negativity on all others who are in proximity with us and even onto the universe itself. The expansion of the universe is at the mercy of our completely showing up. And welcome to all of you, beloveds. I, I see you, I love you, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for holding sacred space with me. Breath is voluntary and involuntary. So we don't really have to think about breathing. It's a natural something that happens that perpetuates our life. And yet when we have a deeper relationship with breathing and we consciously bring in deep, full, elongated breath. We bring the body and the mind and the emotional body into stillness. We bring power and sharpness to the mind because there is an oxygenation of the brain cells. Breath is God hiding in plain sight inside of us. Many of us say that we want to really have a relationship with God and we can't feel a sense of connection. But you feel the movement of God through the movement of your breath. Because breath is the fabric of divinity that has been breathed into us that gave animation and life to our being. Breath is the breast milk of source. When we take in deep, elongated, full breaths, then we are ingesting source. We are ingesting creator. When we are in shallow breathing, we are engaging in a death wish because shallow breathing is an unwillingness to take in the full measure of life force that is available. Breath is the breast milk of source. 
Drink up, beloved. Every time you take that deep breath, you are deepening your relationship with that divinity, that, that God beingness within you. You are sharpening your awareness of the fact that we are one being. We are many facets of one being. Yes, there is only one life in which we all share. Only one love through which we all care. Only one being in all that we're seeing, a slumbering giant, is what we are freeing. When one is at peace, what a mighty release of breath unto life that all may increase. Anyone's joy is everyone's right. The wise one's wisdom is the blind one's sight. There is only me in all that I see. The joining of life is what makes me free. And those who achieve and abundance receive is that part of me in whom I believe. When I am a winner, I honor all life. When I am a loser, all life shares my strife. Before life on this earth and my physical birth, I danced with the angels and knew my true worth. Yet all that I was, I really still am. A God out of heaven, an innocent lamb. If I want to know who I truly be, seek all that there is, and I will find me. Every time is now, every space is here, every one is you. Every time is now, every space is here, every one is me. There are simultaneous realities. When you deepen your relationship with the breath, you're able to access facets of your being that exist way into the future, thousands of years into the future, thousands of years into the past. When your relationship is deep and powerful with breath, you are able to prememorate the glory of your future self, commemorate the glory of your past self, bringing it into harmonic convergence with the now memoration of this moment. Every time is now. Every space is here. Everyone is you. When you are in the awareness that everyone is you, then you recognize that the expansion of the universe is at the mercy of you showing up in the full authenticity of your divine nature, your divine being. When you accelerate in your beingness, the universe is quickened in its glory. When you are stagnant in the exaltation of your being, then the universe by extension becomes stagnated. Do you want to be a catalyst for the expansion of the universe? Or do you want to be a catalyst for the stagnation of the universe? We feel the movement of God through the movement of our breath. Inhalation is access to inspiration. The deeper you inhale, the more you are inspired. The more you are inspired, then you're able to engage in the expectation of inspiration. When you are in shallow breathing, then you are caught up in the expectation of desperation. Because shallow breathing diminishes the full measure 
of who and what we really are. You cannot afford to breathe shallow, deep, full, elongated breaths. Also, I want to give you a little technique that you can work with, a uh, technique uh, of breath called Ia Weya, something that was revealed to me by Creator from within. Ia means from the beginningless beginning. Weya means into the endless end. See, when you inhale the Ia, you are inhaling the reality of the beginningless beginning. When you exhale the way ah, you are exhaling into the endless end. E ah is E Y A H. Way ah, W A Y A H. And when you work with it by way of uh, a whisper, whisper chanting of it or whisper speaking of it, it's like. It is a portal through eternity. Play around with that and you will discover some amazing connections of empowerment within your being. Inhalation is access to inspiration. The entering in of spirit exhalation is the exiting of spirit. You know, we inhale our way into physicality. We inhale our way into the body. When we are born, the first axis of breath is inhalation. When we lay the body down and do the thing that is called death, you know, we exhale. So we exhale. The last axis of breath is the exhalation where we exhale our way back into spirit. When we are born physically, first axis of breath, inhalation, we inhale our way into flesh. Breath is the central core of being and is untouched by any negativity. Breath transcends imbalanced emotion. When you have a deep relationship with breath, you are able to find this place in the center of your being. There is a central core of beingness within each of us that is untouched by any negativity, untouched by any darkness. It is the uncontaminatable place within all of us. The center of any being, the center of any circumstance is where pure light dwells because the center is the real estate of God, Goddess Almighty. And you cannot contaminate the center. And you access relationship with the center by way of deep, full, elongated breaths. Breath is the fuel that is known or breath is the fuel of all that is known or ever will be known. It is the access code into awareness. Breathe full and deep and awareness becomes an automatic expansion within your, your being. Every deep breath fuels and fires the brain cells, makes the mind sharper and a greater portal for knowledge and wisdom. Breath being of spirit, being of the spirit of God is eternal and extends from the beginningless beginning all the way into the endless end. You come into a relationship with the eternality of your being by way of deepening your relationship with your breath. Breath is the affirmation of the eternality of our soul. Breath is never trapped within the body. We breathe even when we lay the body down. We breathe all the way from the beginningless beginning all the way into the endless end. 
Every deep breath is a prayer for life and lengthens the physical lifespan. Every shallow breath denies and limits life and limits the welcoming of God into the kingdom of our body and soul. Shallow breathing can be a means by which you shorten your lifespan. Every word is the movement of breath. Every song is the melody of breath. Breath is the fuel of ecstasy and bliss. On mountain heights of heaven's land, we now invoke the master plan by virtue of breath, tis in the name of holy peace that all our blessings now increase. Our great abundance now comply with power of our single eye. We bless the darkness, make it right. Reverse the tide and free the light. God, goddess, make our power ever pure, else let the power not endure. We love and lift our fellow man and woe man and understand the master plan for us there's simply nothing new except that which our souls always knew first eye spin at speed of light within without come now our sight almighty spirit elohim make truth of this our cosmic dream oh yes our eye is really single with light our bodies do now tingle. Oh, our souls are so brand new. We now know all that we once knew. Breath is God hiding in plain sight inside of us. Breath is the supreme source of life that creates inner substance which then becomes the form of manifestation. Breath follows and empowers thought and feeling. Therefore, we must be discerning about what we focus our mind and emotions on. To be negative toward any being is to be negative toward breath, which blocks our access to the greater blessings of breath in our own life. Breath is the means by which we realize that I am happening to my life rather than my life is happening to me. To be inspired is to be moved in creation by breath. Breath is the access code to the fountain of youth. Breath is the evidence of our infinite abundance. Breath is the activity of love. To breathe is to love and to love is to breathe. Deep breathing awakens eternal remembrance on the wings of cosmic consciousness. So I have a little affirmation of love. This one I call, I am so in love with me. So I'd like for you to hear it as if it is spoken from your own mind, your own heart, your own soul. <clears throat> I am so in love with me. Therefore, I honor the whole of my life, the pain and the joy. I am so in love with me, therefore, I am empowered by everything. All circumstances are serving unto my highest good. I am so in love with me, therefore, I am a blessing to everyone I meet, and they are a blessing to me. I have joy in spite of sorrow, peace in spite of pain, faith in a great tomorrow, and sunshine throughout the rain. I am so in love with me, therefore I celebrate all my contributions to life and know that I make a monumental impact upon the expansion of life. Life is better by virtue of me, and this is true even when I stumble in human forgetfulness. The universal expanse of my being remembers for me that which I have forgotten. I am so in love with me, therefore I choose to remember who I really am as my own version of the Most High and the whole universe. 
I am so in love with me, therefore I choose to see the possibility of divine redemption for every being. I have the universe's back and the universe has my back. I believe in myself and I believe in you. I believe so much in myself that I offer my blessings to my creator and my creator is quickened by virtue of my blessings. I love my creative expression and bring forth delightful creations. I celebrate your creative expression and the wonderful creations you bring forth. I am so in love with me, therefore I am in the arms of my beloved walking hand in hand, bringing ascension to all. I am so in love with me, therefore I feel the presence of my lavish abundance, fashioned out of the fabric of my own mind and soul. My being is one of infinite prosperity. All my wealth and riches are real in this very moment. My abundance is always immediate. Now is my access code to all wealth. I am therefore a billionaire of being, allowing my expression as a multi-billionaire. I am so in love with me, therefore my consciousness of God is the, tr is the true reality of my supply. I am therefore aware of my God self, the Christ within, as my source and my supply. I honor that the origin of my abundance is the womb of the great within, the great femifestation, the creator of all manifestations. I am so in love with me, therefore I am who I really am. I live, move, and have my being as the presence of the divine. Divine mind is the all-providing activity within me, pouring forth my limitless supply. That which I allow for me, I also allow for the all that is. In realizing that my inner being is the root of my supply, I therefore also realize that first and foremost I am my own inner money substance, and my outer money is the offspring of God within me. My inner money substance is the primordial cause, and my outer money is the material effect. Outer money, people, places, and conditions are the privileged conduits through which my unlimited supply flows from the wellspring of my inner source. I am so in love with me. Therefore, the principle of supply is always in action, manifesting the immediate fulfillment of all my needs and desires. I trust my inner supply to instantly and continually crystallize and form circumstances and experiences of my needs and desires fulfill. I am therefore in a constant living meditation resonating the light of this truth. I am so in love with me, therefore I let go and let God pour forth the all-sufficiency of abundance into my life and affairs. Divine consciousness within me lovingly fulfills this responsibility. My true nature is to always be abundant. I honor, allow, and embrace the truth of my abundant supply. The kingdom of heaven is my own. God is my source. God is my substance. God is my supply. I am so in love with me. Therefore, I am source. I am substance. I am supply. I invoke, decree, and dream awake the full cellular ascension of my being, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, in this now, with the full support of God, Goddess, the Ascended Master realm, to include our Ascended Master Self, Father Saint Germain, Sananda, the Holy Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Goddess of Mercy, Archangel Michael, and the Legions, Ashtar, and the entire command, Baba G, Raphael, Gabriel, Clan of the Trumpet, Angels, Aboriginal and Tribal Shaman, Goddesses of Fortune, Angels of Light, Elohim, Clan of the Serpents, Shiva, all Christ frequencies, all animal totems, elementals of fire, air, water, and earth, all divine beings of light, love, and ascension, named and unnamed to activate the cells within my being who are your counterparts with the unified power of the one I decree my highest good always operating in this now I decree grace and mercy always operating in this now I invoke decree and dream awake the full truth and reality of ascension in this now I invoke and dream awake with every breath that I breathe the violet fire transmuting my whole being I invoke and dream awake the full current of ascension in every cell of my being I am, therefore, so in love with me, and I invite you to be so in love with you. See, the great sacred mystery about love is that it's not something that you have to do, but rather something that you merely allow. 
Love is a frequency of eternal happening. There is never a time when love isn't about the business of expressing the infinite something that it is. When we feel that we are void of love, it is because our attention has been hijacked away from the eternal connection with love that extends from the beginning, less beginning, all the way into the endless end. There is no way that love could cease to be. Only our attention can cease to be placed upon it. So let your attention, beloved, be eternally upon the frequency of love. And so with that being said, I'm going to top it all off with a little bit of the didgeridoo to uh, offer uh, some of this wonderful frequency here for deepening your relationship with breath and deepening your relationship with being so in love with you. <laughs> Oh, life is divine, beloved. <clears throat> I have a didgeridoo here. This one here uh, is the, the vibration of the heart chakra. So there's a love frequency in it. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Namaste. So, uh, I guess by now, beloved, you're deliciously reminded of who and what you really are. And I trust that you're going to be loving on yourself with the passion of heaven. I see you. I believe in you. I love you. And in loving you, I'm loving my own self by extension. And so to love you is a case of enlightened self-interest. When you are in the expression of love toward all life, it is enlightened self-interest on your part. And 
Remember that you are infinitely wonderful and infinitely validated by source, by creator. There is nothing that you could do, achieve, or create that would cause the love of source, of creator, to be one iota different for you. You are loved with an infinite love and validated with an infinite validation by virtue of one fact, and that is that you are. And you got that covered because I see you sitting inside of your own existence, living and moving and having your being. And so that is the only prerequisite that you need for loving and validating yourself then you're able to move forward and do, achieve, and create for the sheer joy of it because you won't be dependent upon any doing, achieving, or creating to establish the validity and the glory of your being for that is already eternally established by virtue of the gift of our Creator unto all of us. I am Astarius Miraculi, loving you with the passion of heaven. I invite you to go and visit my website I got a number of CDs on there. All of the things that you hear me reciting are selections from my book, Miraculi, Song of Ascension. I also have Feast of the Zodiac, Wisdom of, the, of Astrology, where I've written a poem for all of the astrological signs. So I invite you to partake of that. I got about 19 CDs and uh, special attention to spirit rap. Uh, that's been my top selling CD and many people say that it has literally saved their life. I highly recommend it. Uh, also, I have uh, what was playing in the background was Abraham, or actually what was playing in the back, background was uh, Sonic Ascension, a tribute uh, to Sedona. Uh, that's a great meditational one. Uh, meditation pieces is uh, Sonic Ascension, a tribute to Sedona. Another album, Abraham, Primordial Heart, which is a dedication that I made to the being Abraham, which is channeled through Esther Hicks. You know, Abraham's been a wonderful celestial mentor for me at some glorious times in my life. And then there's also Deep Space Meditation, another a wonderful meditation one which has binaural beats in it. You know, if you want to manifest abundance, I've got Prosperity Master Plan, which also has binaural beats and amazing messages around prosperity. So go to my website, hear some sound clips, partake of some of those things. If you love what it is that I'm offering, then out of the joy and kindness of your heart, you know, partake of some of those things. They are available, hard copy CD that you can order and be mailed to you, or the in inexpensive way is digital downloads. They're just $9.99 per digital album. And if you buy three, you get a fourth one free. So I got a lot of wonderful deals over there. And uh, I'm thanking you in advance for playing in the field of win-win and going and partaking of some of that. I'm also available for psychic astrology readings. I've been really on an amazing roll, just making a phenomenal difference in the life of the clients that I've been working with. Some people in England, some Australia, you know, just all over the world. So we can do it by Skype. Doesn't matter where you are, if you'd like to get in touch with me to uh, set up an appointment, you know, wherever you are, and it's also available, this number is available through WhatsApp, that's plus one, nine, two, eight, two, five, four, nine, five, three, five, plus one, nine, two, eight, two, five, four, nine, five, three, five. My website, astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S.com. And also I have a donation button on my, li on my uh, website. Some people have sent me donations and thank you, all of you that have done that. I'm so moved and appreciative of that, that you just, you know, uh, went there, clicked on the donation button and dropped a donation in there. So if you want to do a donation of appreciation, that is also available via the donation button on the website. A whole ashe amen, namaste hotep, in la kesh, alak in shalom, sat nam, hari om, rastafari. Our sacred juices are cooked and infinitely expanding. Juice to far right, bliss to far right. We're going to always have many miles on our smile, wiggle in our giggle, tingling in our boots, laughter ever after, put in our strut, wings on our butt, always rising up for up at the top. There is room 
waiting for all. It's just the bottom that's crowded, y'all. So I want you to put your arms around yourself, give yourself a great big hug, and pinch yourself on all four cheeks, top and bottom. That's a sweet chica boo, baby. <laughs> I love you so much.